Daddy, can you read me a bedtime story? Okay, how about the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears fans? Yeah! Once upon a time, there was a young woman named Goldilocks. She went for a walk in the forest. Pretty soon, she came upon the house of the Three Bears fans. She knocked, and when no one answered, she walked right in. At the table in the kitchen, there were three bowls of gumbo. Goldilocks was very hungry, so she tried some of the gumbo in the first bowl. Ooh, this gumbo is too hot. Then she tried gumbo from the second bowl. Oh, this gumbo is too cold. So she tried the last bowl of gumbo. OMG, this gumbo is just right. After she'd eaten the Three Bears fans' gumbo, she was suddenly very tired. So, she walked into the living room with her shoes on, where she saw three chairs. Goldilocks sat in the first chair to rest her feet. Nope, this is too big. So, she tried the second chair. This chair is too big too. She sat in the last and smallest chair. Ah, this chair is just right. But just as she got settled, the chair broke into pieces. Oh, no! Goldilocks was still very tired, so she went upstairs to the bedroom. She laid her head down in the first bed, but it was too hard. Then she laid in the second bed, but it was too soft. She laid down in the third bed, and it was just right. Goldilocks fell asleep. As she was sleeping, the Three Bears fans came home. What the fuck? Oh shit, we've been robbed, man. The motherfuckers even took the sausage out of my gumbo. Who do that shit? Yo, these motherfuckers ate my gumbo too. Yo, not only did they finish my bowl, they didn't even put the bowl in the sink. Yo, they got boot prints on my fucking carpet. Yo, please, Lord, do not let me catch this motherfucker because I'm going to go back to jail. Yo, who the fuck puts their feet up in the goddamn chair? I can see this bitch's Nike swoosh sign. Boot prints? The motherfucker shattered my shit. Who? What am I going to sit in now? They decided to look around some more, and when they got upstairs... Nah, man, not my bed, yo. Tell me they ain't disrespect my bed. Yo, 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 grab them sheets. We gonna burn that bitch. Uh, we don't know what kind of STDs this bitch soaked into the sheets. Oh, hold up. Who gets the itis during a robbery? This bitch is still here. Wake up, bitch. Wake up. We calling the cops. Just then, Goldilocks opened her eyes and saw the Three Bears fans were much bigger than her. Okay, okay, okay. All right, now. Uh, let's not get crazy, everyone. Holy shit, this bitch is packing! Oh, shit. <laughs> you, yo, yo, calm down, Mitch. You you got it. Uh, You ate all the food. You got way too comfortable at the crib. Just please don't shoot anybody. Just get the fuck out, yo. Goldilocks ran out of the room. Bye! Down the stairs and straight into the forest. And she never returned to the home of the Three Bears fans again. The end.